With the release of Minecraft Bedrock Edition's newest featured server, Pixel Paradise, everyone and their mutters have made videos or based streams around why the server is one of, if not, the worst server in Bedrock history. All of this discussion had me thinking about another feature server that had this exact type of attention a few months ago. That's right. I'm referring to the Lifeboat Network, also known as the server I spent over two years being a volunteer for. Crazy, right? Pixel Paradise is now the new Lifeboat if you'd even call it that. In this video, I will talk about the two servers separately to see what they both bring to the table. This is Pixel Paradise versus Lifeboat Network. Pixel Paradise is owned by the MPVP Network, the same company that owns Mineville, a roleplay-based bedrock feature server. Obviously for this video, I will be focusing on Pixel Paradise rather than Mineville. Pixel Paradise was released pretty recently, in July 2021. At the moment, the server seems to average between 1,000 to 3,000 players a day, but this is a rough estimate on my behalf. The server only has 4 game modes at the moment, which are Volcano, Islands, TNT Run and Spleef. Volcano is the server's version of the game mode Prisons, while Islands is the server's version of the game mode Skyblock. TNT Run and Spleef are free to play to anyone on the server, while Volcano and Islands require a pass per game mode. One pass costs 310 mine coins, which is roughly 2 euros. The passes only need to be purchased once and do not require constant purchasing. Both games have different in-game perks that you can buy. For example, in Islands, you can buy 4 types of helpers for roughly 16 euros each, which is astonishing. Volcano also offers an in-game perk, the Eruption Pickaxe, which also costs 16 euros. However, the Eruption Pickaxe is a one-time use item, so you would need to pay 16 euros every time you want to use it, which is absolutely absurd for a new server. Their VIP rank is the most expensive item you can buy on the server, with it costing 4,280 mine coins, which is roughly 30 to 40 euros. I just want to quickly mention that you can literally buy Minecraft Java Edition with that amount of money. The VIP rank perks include access to islands, one of each island helper, flight in the lobby, the ability to breed underwater, and a cool boat. At the moment, it's not worth the money to spend it, as it's way too expensive. Once again, you can literally buy the game with that money. The server doesn't seem to be too bad with lag from my end, however, I do know upon its release people were having constant issues connecting to the server. The games do seem to lag every now and again, in particular, I had some lag issues while recording Spleef background gameplay for this video. Overall, the server is not off to a great start, with constant paywalls and half their game modes being behind said paywalls. I hope the server will get better with time, as it hasn't even been a week since its release as of recording this audio. However, this does seem very unlikely since they pulled this act immediately upon releasing the server. The Lifeboat Network is owned by the Hydrion Corporation and is one of the most OG Bedrock Edition servers. In fact, it is easily the oldest featured server that Bedrock Edition has to offer. I remember first logging onto the server in the year 2016, but it has been around much longer than that. The server averages 9,000 to 10,000 players daily, although some people have speculated that it's much less than that. Lifeboat currently has 9 game modes to offer, which are Bed Wars, Sky Wars, Capture the Flag, Zombie Apocalypse, Survival Games, Creative Mode, Survival Mode, Prisons, and Skyblock. For the purposes of comparison, I will be looking at the game modes Skyblock and Prisons in particular, since those are the games Lifeboat have in common with Pixel Paradise. Unlike Islands, Lifeboat's version of Skyblock is free to play, although more perks are given to players who have the Uber VIP rank, such as flying on your island and being able to invite other players to your island. The Lifeboat Skyblock helpers are similar to the ones in Islands, except for the price. One helper on Skyblock is roughly 5 euros, whereas, as I previously mentioned, one helper on Islands is roughly 16 euros. 
Lifeboat's Prison is also technically free to play, but only for 20 minutes a day. Lifeboat's Prison Pass costs the same as Pixel Paradise's Volcano Pass, which is 310 mine coins or roughly 2 euros. However, there have been issues in the past with prison passes not working correctly, if at all, following the purchase of a prison pass. I noticed from first-hand experience dealing with lifeboat support emails where a lot of the emails were regarding issues with the prison pass. Their Uber VIP rank is a subscription-based rank, which costs 490 mine coins a month or 3,420 mine coins a year, which is roughly 20 euros. We would be spending more money on Lifeboat's VIP rank since you have to constantly buy it to keep it, but it has a variety of perks to go with it. Some perks of their VIP rank include access to VIP-only areas in the lobby, access to their prisons game mode, exclusive VIP pets and mounts, cosmetics, the VIP chat tag and color customization, particle effects, lobby toys, and the ability to fly in lobbies. I personally feel like the monthly subscription payment is worth it if you're constantly playing on the server. If not, don't buy it. The server is infamously known for its lag, hence why many players past and present have nicknamed the server Lagboat. They have tried improving their in-game lag by upgrading their servers. Overall, the server has always had issues for years, and people still find issues with the network to this day. I don't even have to mention the videos people made on Lifeboat in the past year alone. The videos speak for themselves about how the server constantly finds themselves in hot water years after their initial release. Pixel Paradise is newer than Lifeboat by many years, and in my opinion still has time to fix themselves, although they likely will not head in that direction at all. The server is essentially pay to play, which for a new featured server is far from a good thing. Their free to play game modes are lackluster at best, and can easily be replicated. Hopefully they can add new and unique game modes that aren't behind the paywall, in order to give them an edge against other featured servers, because as of right now, the only thing that's giving them an edge is how bad the server is in comparison. LIFO have made good and bad decisions over their long run as a network, and still tend to get into a lot of controversy. Many players have questioned its featured server status to this day. In my opinion, they have improved from where they were years ago, but still have a long way to go, and possibly don't have a lot of time to get there. It's like I always say with Lifeboat, they take three steps backwards for every step forward they make in progress. This concludes the end of this video, hopefully you all enjoyed. If you want me to make any more server topic videos like this, please let me know. But until the next video or livestream, stay safe, sending positive vibes your way. Bye! -bye.